ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் த்ரீ டூ ஒன் ஜீரோ from moon walk it is sun dance this is the third successive success success story in the trilogy of uh, success stories registered by team isro it happened as predicted so we are very happy today's event was only placing the aditya l1 in the precise halo orbit so it was moving towards a halo orbit but we had to do a little bit of corrections to put it at the right place so something like a 31 meter per second velocity has to be given cumulatively to in uh, to the satellite to keep it at the right uh, orientation so basically it's a halo orbit it's an orbit which uh, moves around l1 point with a size of 6 lakh kilometer in one direction uh, 2 plus lakh in one, another dimension 3 1 lakh in 1 lakh kilometer in another dimension so it formed like an egg so in this new orbit it has to be placed it has to be very precisely put if we don't do the correction today it will escape from this point okay, okay we will not allow it to escape if it cannot happen there are some contingencies but i am only telling mathematically it can escape so that has been very precisely done ultimately what we achieved today is exact placement based on our measurement and very correct prediction of the velocity requirement the computer decided to cut off at the accelerometer based cut off has happened so uh, right now it is at the in our calculation it is at the right place but we are going to monitor for next few hours to see whether it is at the right place mm-hmm. then if it is slightly drifted we may have to do a little bit of correction now and we don't expect that to happen ये जो घटना है ये घटना बहुत बड़ी घटना है हमारे भारत की दृष्टि से और देखेंगे कि ये जो आदित्य एलवन सोलर ऑब्जर्वेटरी है तो ये आज शाम को पांच बजे इसरो द्वारा उसे उसका जो हेलो ऑर्बिट है उस ऑर्बिट में वो उसको स्थित करने वाले हैं और आज के बाद फिर सतत पांच वर्ष यह सूर्य का जो डायनामिक्स है सूर्य का जो वातावरण है उसके बारे में जानकारी वो आ, हमारे से बने आ, जो बेस स्टेशन है इसरो का उसके साथ साझा करने वाले हैं और ये जो जानकारी है ये जानकारी केवल भारत की दृष्टि से नहीं तो पूरे विश्व की दृष्टि से बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट इस तरह से होगी भारत का ये पहला ही सौर सोलार मिशन है और करीबन दो सितंबर को ये लॉन्च किया गया था और आज करीबन पांच महीने के बाद उसको उसका जो ऑर्बिट है उस ऑर्बिट में प्लेस किया जाएगा ये बहुत बड़ी घटना है L1 
maximum point is a point in, uh, between the Earth and the Sun uh, in that direction, about 15 lakh kilometers from the Earth, and it is 1% of the distance to the Sun. This is a point where the gravitational force of the Sun equals the force of uh, the, uh, the Earth. So therefore, it's a point where uh, we are uh, intending to place Aditya L1. It's not exactly at this point uh, the uh, satellite will be placed. A uh, satellite is going to be placed in a halo orbit because that around that point uh, it will uh, be in an elliptical orbit and facing the sun all the time. So uh, today's exercise is uh, a first step uh, in that direction when from the uh, almost linear path uh, towards the sun, it is going to be placed in the uh, halo orbit and therefore that kind of a, uh, a burn will be uh, given uh, to the satellite uh, so that uh, it, uh, it takes to uh, that orbit. So on, uh, in the coming uh, days and uh, weeks, uh, ISRO is going to track this uh, satellite so that it remains uh, or, and it is kept in that intended orbit uh, around the L1 point. Now, the Aditya L1, again second one in the world, which is going to discover the mysteries of the sun which had either in the past hitherto eluded us or they got woven around fairy tales and folklore, and but which have become very important for us now because we have a huge stake in the space. We have several satellites in the space, so it's important for us to understand the various phenomena associated with sol solar mechanisms, whether the solar energy, whether it's the interplanetary magnetic fields, whether it is the solar winds or the so-called solar storms happening from time to time or also the coronal ejections so-called uh, because they can sometimes be of a disadvantage and also at the same time they could be used to the advantage of our missions as well. So at the same time, so what I think uh, very much like Chandrayaar, the findings that we gather from here are being very uh, impatiently or very curiously being uh, looked forward to by the rest of the world, particularly those who are very much into the space missions, even those uh, who have started much before us. And this also once again puts us as a frontline nation of the world and puts us in a position where India or Bharat is no longer to be led by other countries, more ways than one. We are ready to lead others, to give them cues and space economy is going to be also an important part of India's growth story in the next 25 years. Five, four, three, two, one.